Hello and welcome back to Let's Play of Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Previously, we kicked Benkei's oh, ankle. We didn't kick his ass, we kicked his ankle. Um, and then we ended up on the beach. We're having a nice time at the beach, uh, sunset and stuff. Um, oh yeah, I was going to go to this tea house, wasn't I? Yes. Let's see what's going on in here. I kind of forgot which one I go to first. It's obvious the one back there is progress, but what's this one again? Key's Coffee Shop. Hello! The tourist center at Awaji Island will instantly transfer you to your place far away. That's what you call instant pleasure. <laughs> Ooh. Get it? Oh, dear. Yeah, that's definitely right. What's going on here? How about some of our stamina dumplings? At 30 Rio, this will get you motoring. Uh, you yeah, know, I've got loads of miles. Sure, I'll try some. Your strength record is already full. Oh. Fine, I don't want your dumplings anyway, bitch. Do you is that, is that how it works in the real world? You know, I want some food. No, you're already full. Oh. Literally turning away willing customers with money. I got so much money and I don't know what to do with it. Alright. You die. You die. Yeah. Oh. Ah, hang on. I just saw... Get rid of this guy. Turn camera. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was number four. Ah. Oh. Two more, okay. Uh, I hope I can climb up that wall. <laughs> I hope there's no giant eels at the bottom of this water. Come on, yay, swim faster! Faster! There we go, right. Oh, there's. Oh. I'm finding things everywhere today. I am like a Hawkeye. Here we go. Received a surprise pack. Remaining players are increased by one. Now I've got four. Excellent day. Right, now let's actually make a little bit of progress, so... There's this way. we got a little bit of a boss fight coming up, actually. It's not a hard one. At least as far as I remember. But, yeah, it should be pretty straight forward. Oh, two for one! That's what I like to say. I got them skills. They's multiplying. And I'm keeping my control. Right. Hello! I'll go talk to this lady first. Hmm. The air conditioner is on, and you don't have to ask for things. This is the best place for a quick rest, is it? Can I... No, I can't... No. No. I can't jump over... Well, how do I rest here, then? There's nothing... Oh, never mind. Let's talk to this lady. Yo! This is Arido Tourist Center, a Wedge Island branch. We will carry you to Shikoku at once with our proud dragon! It's what we'd really want to say. Our proud dragon has suddenly gone wild and cannot carry you now. Can someone do something about this? Uh, it's none of my businessy. I don't want any of your businessy. Uh, may I help you? Wow, really? That's great. Okay, hop on the back of the dragon. Enter this machine. Okay. I just jumped through that pole. And a spin, 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 spin. Apparently, spinning really fast is how you teleport in this world. You can try it at home. Just try not to hit anything. There we go, dragon. It wouldn't be Japan if you didn't have a dragon in it somewhere, would it? Okay. Get through the cutscene part. And here we go. We've got to get all the way to the front of the dragon fort. Actually, we get to fight the dude at the end. Uh, this is a bit tricky because I'm actually being pushed left and right as I run by winds everywhere. Oh god, no. I hate these little things there. They're annoying to hit. Uh, the wind almost blew me off. Ah, uh, dang it. There we go. Um, can we be there yet, or what? Ah, I think so. Oh, no, one more. Here we go. I'm going to do this guy's voice in kind of like a robotic kind of voice. He seems like a machine. It is the dude talking. I always assumed it was that guy talking, so we're going to go with that. What is that? Do you suppose that machine? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, test, testing, testing. Ahem. Well now. Ta-da! You're absolutely right. We kidnap kids with dancing talents using this dragon. I, the mighty Colon, am so, so smart. Oh no, Colon's another guy like Ban later on. Oh, we'll roll with it, roll with it. Might you be one of the Peach Mountain guys? My, 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 my. How do you know about us? Ooh! I get it. You must be the annoying clowns Baron was talking about. Annoying clowns? What? Anyway, I'm going to beat you all up. Control machine, go get them! Yeah, there's actually a... 
You know the Baron? It's like a clone dude looks kind of like him called Colon, I believe. Oh, that's going to be his voice from now on just because it's funny. Alright. Uh, 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 come on, hit him, hit him, hit him! Oh, I'm going to hit him once. Uh, no, no! Dang it! Whoa, I'm flying everywhere! What the, what the hell was that? That's never happened before. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. I might actually switch to Goman so I can get from a distance quickly. Use chain pipe. I don't want to stand too close to him because he does that spin attack and uh, puts me at danger of being smacked in the face. All right, bring it on, bitch! I'd have to stand here. His aim sucks. And then I guess oh. is that an angle? It makes it hard to hit him because then the chain pipe just goes straight into the dragon. All right, just stand here. I'm totally dodging these on purpose. And again. I think it's like five or so hits. Or was that number five? I can't remember how many. Sometimes I wish more bosses in games had health bars. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Boom. Oh, now the dragon's spinning out. So I'm just having a drink. Doing that robot voice kind of hurts my throat. Tropical juice. Compare a mountain. Yeah, I just la casually land from 10,000 or so feet. And he doesn't. It's some kid with no eyes. I'm trying to think of a voice to do from I don't know what to do. What? What's going on? What, was that you? That dragon? Yes, it was me. My name is Koyuta. What, what's been going on all this time? Yes, dragon, who had been hypnotized by the Peach Mountain, was actually none other than Koyuta, the son of the dragon god. Goemon and allies explained everything to Koyuta. Oh no! So you're telling me that I was the one out there kidnapping kids all over the place? I don't know if I can recover from this. I'm a bad guy. A villain. A criminal. A demon, a devil, right? Calm down, calm down. You were hypnotized, there's nothing you could have done about it. But still. By the way, don't you remember anything that happened? Like, where did you take the children? Hmm. Ah. Uh, yes! That's right, the hot springs. Hot springs? I remember going to the Dogo Hot Springs, just west of Aio. The Dogo Hot Springs? That's a popular spot. Koyuta, you must return to being just a tourist as soon as you possibly can. I will rescue the children myself. Really? Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, here's something. Please take this. Yeah, you get a new weapon, kind of. It's not really a weapon, but whatever. It's a flute! What is this flute? At any time or any place, you play that flute, I will arrive right by your side in dragon form. I will take you to any town, village, coffee shop or castle you've been to. That would help tremendously, but I have no idea how to play the flute. I know how to play the flute. Me too. Okay then, yay, I'll hand this flute to you. Why not me? Would anyone honestly want to see Abyssinary play the flute? I don't think so. With this, you can fly to any location you've been to before. This feature can be cancelled by pressing the B button before the flute stops playing. Oh, and then if- oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and then if you go inside the building, such as Castle or Thor, I won't be able to hear the flute, so make sure you're outside when you play it. Oh yes, and take this map. I'm sure it will come in handy. Goemon and allies also received the map of Japan. It's about damn time! Press start of- oh, uh, press start of- Yeah, it's just like maps inside dungeons. Well, I must get going. Bye-bye. Off you go. And listen. Of course he transforms off screen, sneaky little bastard. So... Change the A. There we, oh, no, I did I did not press down. You liar. Right. Left. There we go, got a flute now. And play it. But we don't actually need it yet. Yeah. <laughs> now we need to go up here actually. We're about to reach the part of the game that I always used to get stuck at. So everything up until now I've done about a billion times. Everything afterwards I've done about mm, ten? I don't know. I've, I've, I have actually have completed this game a number of times, yeah, 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 yeah. But, like I said, when I used to rent this, I only ah, got so far before I used to get stuck with no help on how to get any further. So I had no choice but to give up. So I also never saved the vice. 
I don't know, I'm just talking casually while running up a mountain while rocks are being thrown at me and blowing them up. And I think I saw an item floating. I think there was a... Was that a fortune doll? Hang on. Oh, no, it was these guys. Ah, go away, I hate you. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we need, actually do need to get on top of this mountain, though. And we get another new weapon. Hopefully I can do it before... We, oh, time runs out. Oh, God, these things are weird. Medusa head things. Go away. Was that it? No, no, it can't be. Fourth block. Right. More boulders. Ah. Oh, I thought I blew you up. These Medusa heads. Or not, why do you call them Medusa heads? These head things just creep the hell out of me. It's worse when they actually spit out the uh, ball things. You just see their mouths go, wow. Alright. I'm not even going to bother trying to kill them. They just creep me out. There we go. I think that's it. I remember so much of this game taking a lot longer to do when I was younger. Oh well. Right, switch to Goemon. Does this sign say what to do? Because I used to be hints in there. Compare a shrine. Let's talk to some dudes first. We've got time to kill. we got time to kill. Do, 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 do. Yo, what's up, man? It's Kampira, not Kampiri. Point my pronunciation failing me here. Well, that's beside the point. Put five of you into the Oventary chest at the shrine. If you do this, you'll receive help from God. Uh, yeah, that was my major hint that I was too dumb to understand. Because you have to put five Rio in the shrine. I don't know what the shrine was. I didn't think I knew what a sh I didn't even knew what a shrine was. This is the shrine. I don't know how to put money in it. Apparently you just throw it at it. You just throw money at the shrine. One, two, three, four, five. Help me, God! God of money. Um, yes, I've hereby received your Medal of Justice. Is that it? Oh. Go and receive the Medal of Flames. By continuously holding down the B button and then letting go, a powerful medal surrounded by flames will be thrown. The torch can also be lit by using this. Example. Throw, you have to throw one to start with. Hold down B. I can throw a lit one. It costs three Rio, though, to do. We get more abilities later on, which also costs money, I, I think. This is the first one. We need that ability to do the next dungeon, though, so do it now. No worries later. And now we need to go all the way back down again, I think. And we get to the next town. Ah! I can't even jump. I think oh, I can. It's just weird because I'm constantly falling as well. Jump! Jump! Oh, there we go. Two and a half minutes left. Can we get to the next town? Oh, no, not if I go the wrong way. Uh, go away, you weird head things. How do you work? It's just a head on a stick. Second block. I think I have to go all the way down to the first block. Ah, okay. At least there's no boulders chasing me now. I said before one started following me. No, I thought I heard one in the distance then. I <laughs> interrupt myself, about to shit myself. Right. Um, I think we're there now. Usually these shrines, or gate, oh, gates, aren't they? Those gates are a bit of a hint. Are we there? Are we there? Or we just go somewhere else? Yep, yeah, this is the next town. Hello, lady. Oh, talk to her. This is the this is the folky poke village of Ewa. The village is famous for folk dancing. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Yep. The music's all miserable because all the kids are missing. They done being kidnapped. I think this is the fortune teller's hut. Let me just check. Uh, yep. Go away, you creepy little man. I don't need you just yet. Right. Hey, dude. You look a bit wide. What's what's shaking your bones? The God of Money is enshrined in Kumpira Mountain of Sanuki. If the money is used for good, the God of Money will help. And he already did. Um, there's not a lot. <laughs> These tails are a bit closed. Uh, off, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, just whatever. I think there's another fortune doll in one of these. Yep. Yeah. The only time I ever need to crawl, I think. Oh, I can't get in there. I thought it was... Ah! I think I need Sasuke. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no, I need Abyssmaru's ability. I don't have it yet. Oh, we need that as well. Oh, no. All right. I think we're still okay. Oh, that was weird. All right. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I've only got 30 seconds left, and the music's not making me feel any more at ease about it. Um, I think we should have got the stairs. Oh, should I spend a night at the shitty hotel? I've only got 20 seconds left. Ah, okay. Oh, this is a teleport place. That's not what I was looking for. 
but the priest was there, which means he's not in the temple, which means I think I can get Abyssimia Severity. Conclusions! Okay, we'll have to continue this next time. I've run out of time. So until then, see you later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!